Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will know the cosine rule or cosine law of the sum and the difference between two angles. So if we have cosine A and we know the value of this one and we have cosine B and we also know the value of this one we can get cosine angle A plus angle B which will be cosine A cosine B negative sine A sine B and we can also get cosine A negative B which will be cosine A cosine B positive sine A sine B this is a rule where did this rule come from? This is what we'll know today. So, um, we need to concentrate about that because um, it may get confusing sometimes. So, this is a cyclic quadrilateral. This is a right angle here, and from the property of the cyclic quadrilateral that each two opposite angle, and they were summed together, their sum is 180 degrees. So, implementing that this is a right angle, so this will also be a right angle. So, we have two right angle triangles here. This is the first point. The second point is that we have the ray LM extending outside the quadrilateral and there is the perpendicular which falls from the point N over the LM ray at the point E. So this is a perpendicular and this is a right angle here. The third point related to the cyclic quadrilateral is that the exterior angle here is equal to the opposite angle inside the quadrilateral. That's because each two angles opposite to each other equals 180 degree if they were summed together. So they are supplementary and these are also supplementary and since this angle is common between the two so this will be um, as the same measure as this angle. We refer to the angle O as A and to the N O M as B. So this will be B. So M O L will equal A negative B. A negative B. So, NELD is a rectangle. Two right angles here. This is a rectangle. So, DL equals NE. So, we shall put this in our consideration. If we want to get the cosine of angle A negative B, As this is a right angle triangle, the result will be the adjacent over the hypotenuse, OL over OM. OL over OM. And since OL actually equals OD plus DL, we can write this like this way, OD plus DL over OM. As I just said, DL equals NE, so cosine A negative B equals OD plus 
NE over yeah. OF. This is the first part. We can separate these from each other, so we can write them OD over OM plus NE over OF. Now we have the two terms in our uh, rule, so that we have just said cosine A needs to be equals cosine A, cosine B, negative here, negative, um, cosine A needs to be equals cosine A, cosine B, positive sine A, sine B. How can we get this term in the first place and this term in the second place? We will um, write these two terms in another way. This is a bit tricky. Um, we have OD in the numerator and OM in the denominator. So we can leave blanks here so that these two terms are equal. They are the same term. When they are multiplied by each other, they will go and the result will be OD over OM. So what we will write here is cosine A by cosine B. Cosine A is, here we have, this is angle A, so cosine A equals OD over ON. And this is in the triangle NOD. OD over ON, the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Then, cosine B is, here we have OM. This triangle can be drawn like this. Here we have the base, and this is the hypotenuse. Here uh, we have the point O, like this, and this is N, and this is M. And the right angle is here. So. Cosine B, which is this angle, will be ON over OM. ON over OM. This is the first term. ON over OM. Then, we put the plus sign and we write this term the same way that we have just written the first one. Here we have NE over blank multiplied by blank over OM. Again, we will add the same side, the same side to the uh, both numbers so that if they were multiplied by each other, these will go together and the result will be NE over OM. This will be sine A multiplied by sine B. Sine A is NE over what? We have just said that NE equals DL. NE equals DL. So, we will work with this triangle here. N E M and um, we are addressing this as sine A because actually N M E equals measure angle N O L as a property of the quadrilateral, the cyclic quadrilateral that we have just mentioned in the beginning of the video. So sine M will be the opposite over the hypotenuse, NE over NM. So this will be NM. 
The second part is sine B. Sine B is the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is, this is our angle, this is the side opposite to it, and this is the hypotenuse, so it will be NM over OM. So, at the same term, so this equals this one, but we have written it in a, a, a bit tricky way in order to implement this uh, to show the rule which we are going to prove. So this can be written as OD over ON is actually cosine angle A. ON over OM is cosine angle B. Positive. NE over NM is actually sine angle A. NM over OM is sine angle B. And this is our first rule. The difference between two angles, if we have angle A and angle B, we want to get the cosine of the difference between them. This will equal cosine the first angle, cosine A, cosine B. We, if we have a negative, we put a positive, then we have sine A, sine B. What if we have, uh, we want to get the cosine of the sum of two angles, not the difference between them? Positive. Here, in order to get this, we will replace angle B by negative angle B, because negative angle B with a negative here will give a positive, and see what changes will happen in the rule. We have cosine A negative, negative B will equal cosine A cosine negative B and here we have a positive sine A sine negative B. So here we have two negatives so this will be a positive cosine a positive B, so we get the sum of the two angles instead of the difference between them. This will equal cosine A cosine negative B. We know that cosine negative B actually equals cosine A, so the first term will not change. Cosine A cosine B. Positive sine A sine negative B, and sine negative the angle equals negative sine B. So this will equal sine A multiplied by negative sine B. Sine negative B equals negative sine B. We put this negative here as these terms are multiplied together so they will gain the negative sign. So the final is cosine A cosine B negative sine A sine B. So getting the difference and uh, the sum, the cosine of the difference in the sum of two angles is very simple. If we have cosine A plus B, we, the answer will be cosine A, cosine B. Then we flip the uh, sign here. If it was a positive, we put a negative. If it was a negative, we put a positive. Then sine A, sine B. And this was our lesson today. We will have an applications on this in the next videos. But in the next time, we will know the uh, sum, the uh, sine low of the sum and the difference between two angles. And this is uh, depending on the cosine uh, low or the cosine rule. And until the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.